Okay, so we're asked to find the surface area of this triangular based prism. So we work out, uh, first of all, for surface area, it's if you wrapped it up with wrapping paper, it would be the area of the wrapping paper you'd need. So we've got to figure out what shapes are in this uh, triangular based prism. Well, we've got a triangle at the front here and the same triangle at the back. Then we've got this um, rectangle up the side here, which I'm going to call B. Then round the back, we have this rectangle here, which I'm going to call C. And then at the bottom, we've got this rectangle here, which I'm going to call D. So we're going to work out A first. And to do that, we do half times the base, which is going to be 12, times the height, which is 9. Okay, on the calculator, uh, 12 times 9 divided by 2. which is 54. Okay, um, now I'm going to do that twice because there's two triangles. Right, area B. Uh, now the width of that rectangle is 23 and the height of it, it says at the back here, is 15. So I'm going to do 23 times 15, which is 345. Then area C. Now area C is going to be 23 wide, but this time we're going to times it by 9 because it's the height of the rectangle there. So 23 times 9 is 207. And then area of D, which is the rectangle at the bottom. Again, it's going to be 23, but this time by 12 because there's 12 at the bottom. So 23 times 12 is 276. Then to work out the surface area, I'll just add all of these together. So what's that going to be? So 54 plus 54 plus 345 plus 207 plus 276. 936. So the surface area is going to be 936.